Hi guys, my name is Mark Walton. I started to learn how to trade Forex back in the early 2000s, over 20 years ago. I had recently emigrated with my wife and young kids to live in the Canary Islands. And initially I was singing and playing guitar in a band, long time goal. And after a year or two realized I couldn't financially afford to carry on living there. I had kids in private school needed to find a way to make money. Now, I had invested and traded in stocks in the 90s during the dot-com boom, stayed in too late, as many did. Um, but by the time I got into Forex, even though I was living in a beautiful part of the world, I was spending eight hours a day in the basement, and I did that for two and a half years. In that time, I lost over $20,000 and spent probably $10,000 on every shiny toy, indicator, signals, gurus, you name it, I bought it, did the lot. Eventually it came to a point where I was going to have to quit or and in that case then to uproot the family and move back to the UK, which I really did not want to do. Thankfully I was introduced to a retired trader, Rich Friesen. Rich mentored me for over six months and at the end of the period he introduced me to a fund in the US and by the following year I was trading over a million dollars account for them. Then fast forward 2008-2009 I started to trade for my own private clients and I also started teaching people how to trade online. So if I was starting all over again if you want to save two or three years of pain and you want to save yourself thousands of dollars then these are the steps I was taught that made all the difference for me and these are the steps I teach folks who come to me for private coaching and group coaching. So these are the steps. First and foremost, have realistic expectations. You are not going to get rich quick. Forget all these images of the cool dude stood next to somebody else's Ferrari in Dubai and raving about how they made 10 grand for breakfast. Treat all of it with a pinch of salt because most of it is BS. The real way to make money at this game is you are best to be trading other people's money on a funded account. And there are routes to do that nowadays if you're any good. And for that, you need to prove yourself. So these are the steps. Follow these steps and give yourself a decent chance of being successful at trading. So I just mentioned you need to have realistic expectations. If you are completely new to this, then it's going to take you realistically a year to get to the point where you could be earning a decent income. And it might then be two years before you could be earning a substantial income. Let's face it, this is a profession. If you want to earn a professional income from this, then you're gonna to have to dedicate the time and effort to do so. In the getting started section in our website, this is the first module for folks. And many rookies will go straight past this because this is the boring bit. But guess what? The boring bit is the bit that makes all the difference. So in here, step two, you have to treat trading as a business. It is a profession. You are up against some of the sharpest minds on the planet and therefore you need to bring your A game to the table. Business plan ideas. For example, what times of day are you going to trade? If you're working all day, you can't be dashing to your phone every five minutes. You need to come up with a strategy or a system that suits the time that you've got available. Are you going to do analysis like me on a weekend when I spend a few hours planning what I'm going to do? Are you going to trade at the end of the day or whatever that you are going to do? Set yourself some goals is the next step. With goals, you want to have measurable goals. For example, if you're completely new, within three months, you want to be able to consistently place trades profitably whilst controlling the drawdown. Yes, there will be hiccups along the way, but that is the first goal. Understand what's going on, know what you're doing, start to take baby steps. Within six months, you should now, if you put in the time and effort and you've got the skill for this, you should be at a point where you can realistically go on to an evaluation account to be considered to trade other people's money. By month nine now, you want to be on a funded account. By the end of the year, let's set ourselves a target and say, you want to be trading at least $100,000 of somebody else's money and receiving a substantial profit share. Now in here, talk about your trading office. If you've got kids or you've, you live with your parents or however, find an area in the house that's quiet that you can focus. 
keep a trading journal, log all trades, take a screenshot, make notes, record what you've done. They say the psychologists tell us that at the end of the week, if you look at a positive trade, it will register in your brain so that next time you see that pattern, it will help you to take that trade again. Equally, if you take a trade that loses many, many times, you will look at the end of the week and you'll go, why the heck did I take that? It's so obvious I shouldn't have taken it. Uh, money management is obviously a, a big part of trading. It's a subject for another day. Automate your trade management. We use some software. So my edge when it comes to trading, I am very good at analyzing and picking entries, often within hundreds of pips. But I then hand over the management of the trade to a cool piece of software that we use. It only costs a hundred bucks and makes so much difference for folks. Understand what's going on, it's an auction. Here, this is a cool article that one of our private uh, students wrote a few years ago. He said, if you treat trading like a hobby, it will pay you like a hobby. So you have to treat it like a business. And again, we're talking here, right? The secret source for success. This is tongue in cheek. The secret source for success. If you want to know the secret source of success, there isn't one. You have to have clear trading rules and you have to stick to them. What you have to include in those rules, I detailed in this article in here, but think it through. What is it you're trying to achieve? How much are you trying to, to win per week? How much are you going to risk per trade? What times of day? All the things I spoke about before, and I'm scrolling down now so you can take notes if you wish on some of the suggestions for things you should include in your trading rules. Final bit here. Here we've got some more notes. So again, you can have a read of these. We'll put these under this video so you can have a read through them if you like. These are just some examples of things that you should include as I've just shown you before in a bit more detail. And then finally in here, we've got 10, 15 pages worth of members going back to 2018 who submitted their trading plans to us. So remember, realistic expectations. You're not gonna get rich quick, but you can get rich slowly. Treat it like a business, set out your stall properly, plan it, exactly what you're going to do. And then the final thing, trading rules. And the ultimate thing is, it's all right having all of those things, but if you don't stick to the rules, you will fail. I hope that helps. Best of luck with your trading. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel.